Yeah, uh, my name is Anne. Uh, my name is Nil. And uh, yeah, we are have been working uh, this summer on a Rails Girl Summer of Code project, which is uh, coming to an end tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we would therefore like to come today just to show uh, what we've been working on. Yeah, and uh, we were here on, uh, in February. Uh, yeah. Uh, we were here in February about uh, our project, and we were applying for the okay. We were applying for the funding for the Rails Core Summer of Code, but we didn't uh, get the funding. Uh, regardless of getting fun uh, funding, we uh, volunteered to work on an open source project um, that uh, we did for three months and two days in a week. And um, Carno hosted us for uh, one day in a week, and it was. Uh, really nice and uh, yeah yeah so and the goal has been to uh, learn yeah 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 <laughs> and so um, yeah we've been contributing yeah to an open source project called science motions uh, which is uh, or it will be a website aimed at uh, high school students that will uh, feature different lessons uh, with scientific content uh, for people who have a hard time understanding science. So we've created a small animation explaining some uh, biologic concepts. Uh, yeah, so that's what we've been working yeah. on. Yeah. And uh, 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 yeah, just to talk about uh, what we've uh, learned. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Um, uh, the first and foremost thing that uh, with the open source project is that we need to be very comfortable with uh, Git. And uh, we learned a lot about how to contribute and how to work with uh, the Git. And uh, we used a lot of CSS3 uh, new features, as well as we used uh, SVZ responsive layout, which, uh, which is very uh, important. Uh, we didn't realize it before, but then we had to, again, like redo the things um, uh, yeah. to make responsive. And yeah, and we, our uh, backend is on Rails, so we had to again set up uh, the Rails app. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, we really learned a lot. Uh, yeah, and yeah. yeah, so the project is right now being built in a React on Rails app. So we started working on a static website, just uh, getting started with CSS and and JavaScript, and then we kind of later implemented into this uh, React on Rails app. Uh, yeah, and uh, we uh, th the main important thing that we learned was uh, to solve the problem. <laughs> there was problem every step, <laughs> <laughs> so it was the best thing that we learned. Uh, yeah. yeah, and this just you cannot at all really see what's up there, but we also <laughs> just wanted to show uh, a little bit of what we had done. Yeah. Uh, and this is uh, yeah from the React on the Rails app where we implement some of the HTML uh, from for our lesson that is called Silk Tissues and Organs. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is uh, the CSS tree that we wrote um, to make animations. And these days we really don't need uh, a lot of JavaScript to make animations, so we used um, CSS3 keyframes um, animations, and this is, uh, uh, to be precise, it's uh, fading animations that we used uh, from CSS3 instead of using JavaScript. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah, so this is the JavaScript uh, where we, or we will show you the animation in a few seconds, but this is, where we just we have a small cell that we want to multiply and which we do in JavaScript and then we also use JavaScript to take care of some of the timing of uh, the different animations. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, and this is the last one. Uh, this is the last um, uh, Ruby uh, code uh, that we had to work uh, in order to handle some logical uh, operations that uh, that needs to talk with the front end. Um, so yeah, this is uh, basically like, okay, you uh, uh, please show only needed um, uh, elements, uh, needed yeah. comp uh, lessons. Yeah. 
so yeah this is this is the controller file and uh, yeah and this is how we make our hands a little bit dirty with the <laughs> backend <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, since we are learning it could also be nice to talk about what like as a beginner it has been the most challenging for us yeah. and it yeah definitely was uh, learning the git workflow and uh, not messing any repositories up in the beginning yeah yeah <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, as we as I talked before, like how we had to manage with the responsive layout, it was also a little bit of challenges uh, challenge for us uh, because we didn't uh, exactly knew about okay we should uh, be aware of okay there are so many screens and we have to be aware of okay we have to uh, make it for mobile, make it for big uh, screen, make it for laptop, and it was uh, really a lot of things uh, that if we had uh, planned beforehand. We could have used. Uh, we we could have saved some time yeah. uh, building it. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, yeah, because it's a React on Rails app, uh, we had some difficulties, like just understanding the uh, setup, also in relation to uh, the Ruby on Rails setup, because there are some differences. Uh, so we also spent some yeah. time on that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and uh, at the end, uh, definitely the database conf configuration, because. Uh, we use different platform. Uh, Anna C used uh, used um, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, and then yeah, it was a little bit difficult for us to set up uh, database as well. And uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. And the the website is still it's uh, being made, but we will just like show you the lesson that we worked on. Uh, 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 yeah, so this is how like we made all those uh, shapes in CSS3 and SVGs we used, and yeah, this is where uh, the JavaScript um, is cloning uh, the cells, and it's uh, yeah much smoother uh, down here <laughs> 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 than the screen that didn't it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, this is this is the biolog uh, biologic uh, concept uh, that's um, basically uh, from how the small cells they multiply and then become a tissue and then from tissue how an organ is made and uh, the organ makes a whole organ system the body circulatory system that's how we are explaining through the animation yeah, yeah. so yeah uh, Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for giving <laughs> us. Can you answer the question? Uh, yeah, yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah. What was your experience before starting this summer trip? Uh, like some basic yeah, ideas about. HTML and CSS, and we attended uh, a Rails Girls workshop where we had to uh, build a small uh, app. Uh, so, yeah, so we started from there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Last question. Yeah. What would you like to do next? Uh, uh, I would like to continue to work uh, as a developer and uh, yeah, I'm not like really uh, uh, confident at the moment to apply for a junior or something like that, but if there is any training program or something like that, uh, it would be great. Uh, yeah, and yeah, uh, uh, Anna? Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for the presentation, it was really good. Yeah. <laughs>